You know, it's not often here on Good Day we talk about uh, shows that air on other networks, but on the Discovery Channel tomorrow night is a very important documentary that explores the possibility that a serial killer has preyed on African American women right here in Chicago. Yeah, it is called The Hunt for the Chicago Strangler, and one of the West Side activists featured in the program is Reverend Robin Hood. He joins us right now with more on this. Good morning to you, Reverend Hood. Good to see you. Good morning, Nita. How you all doing? Well, we are wonderful this morning. You know, how many women are we talking about here? And do you see this as an emerging pattern that has you concerned enough that there is a killer still at large? Yes. So in the docu series uh, by Discovery uh, Plus Originals, it focuses on the fifty-one uh, murders that was done in the algorithm. But we know that there's more than that. We believe that's anywhere between 90 to 100 women and still counting. We know that uh, that there's more than one serial killer uh, with the 51. Uh, it couldn't have been just one person killed them. So it's more than one serial killer. So it's very concerning. And it's very challenging because some of them dated back to the early 2000s. You know, I'm glad you mentioned the 51. We just uh, talked to uh, a reporter who is airing that, uh, that series on the radio, and uh, she uh, expressed no shortage of frustration over the fact that those missing women and murdered women don't get the same uh, attention by the media and others that perhaps a white woman would get. Uh, I, I am wondering with regard to the police side of it though, uh, Reverend, whether or not you believe CPD and the FBI, are, are they doing all their due diligence in your mind to, to tie this all together? So right now, uh, I'm trusting the FBI and the ex expertise that they bring uh, with, the, with the work that they do. Uh, CPD, just like many other law enforcement across the country, have, have failed to, to uh, get answers. And the problem with law enforcement, local law enforcement, is the idea of don't say serial killer. Well, if you got 51 women, what else do you call it? A serial killer, by definition, is a, typically a person who murders murders more than two people that's it and i would rather be vigilant enough to tell the communities we got a problem somebody is killing black and brown women in these communities we need to be vigilant so it it, it does disservice to not give that information but moving uh fast forward to the day the fbi is working close with uh, Chicago police detectives. Uh, and as you know, the, the FBI is a much more quieter uh, group of law enforcement. What, so I am sure they're working hard. In what, it. Really quick, I want to ask you, have they developed a profile at all of any of these individuals that you think, you know, since you think it's more than one, uh, you know, because the FBI does that profiling thing. Are they telling you anything about who these people might be? Well, we did our own profile. Uh, this work, you know, doing this work for years, it takes you places. And one of the participants is a former Chicago detective, Gerald Hamilton, uh, which you just showed him. He brought his expertise. And I tell you, many nights, me and Gerald Hamilton set up and we build profiles. And we know when some of these killers start or stop, either they were in jail either they were uh, hospitalized or they were dead. Wow. So we know definitely that there's more than one serial killer. Hmm. Well, Reverend Robin Hood, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your thoughts on this and your perspective and the fact that you still believe that there is somebody or some people out there killing black women. And a lot of these cases are going unsolved as many as possibly a hundred. Um, it is the yes. hunt for the Chicago Strangler. And again, it is on Discovery, Discovery Plus. Uh, thank you so much for your, your interview today. Thank you. All right, 822, still to come on Good Day Chicago.